Okay, classic car video. What's up? My name is Alexis Olson. I'm a certified personal trainer, online coach for spiritual women wanting to expand in all areas of their life, not just in their body, not just with weight loss. And so I'm making this video. I want to kind of share um, what I do with my clients and my philosophy as a trainer and why the kind of coaching that I do is very, very different, at least from anything that I've ever seen. And so this, the idea for this video was, it was birthed, I guess you can say, from a really great question that I got asked from um, a friend, acquaintance of mine. And so I really loved it. And this isn't the first time that I've been asked this. So I figured I would make a video um, in my car, like literally while it's on my mind because I just have so much to say. And I'm going to try to keep this around 10 minutes, no longer than 15 minutes, just because I have a lot to say. And I want to get all the information out there for folks that are interested in working with me um, and want all the details and just have questions. Okay. So the question that was asked was, um, something along the lines of like wanting to work on core strength and, uh, this person has a few different injuries that they're trying to rehab. Doesn't sound like it's anything crazy serious. Like they're definitely able to move, but they want to, uh, move consciously and making sure that they're doing preventative workouts. Um, you know, strength building, keeping the muscles tight around maybe where those places, those injuries were, like the knee, the back, shoulder, that kind of thing. Um, and then depression, the topic of depression was also, um, brought up. And so as y'all know, like a lot of people, uh, work out for mental health benefits and not just for like aesthetic reasons. And so I want to explain what I do as a trainer. And, um, I realize I look like really huge right now. I have like four jackets on. Um, <laughs> it's good. It feels good to be warm when it's like, let's see how cold it is. Oh, it's not going to tell me whatever. Um, so anyway, I, um, I coach women and men on the internet and I have a couple of local clients that will do our check-ins in person, but I don't actually personally train one-on-one -on -one in the gym or anywhere. And there's several reasons for that. So one of those reasons and I'll, I'll let you know like how I customize workouts for clients. So one of those reasons is because to be honest, I don't have a lot of experience doing it. Um, also I, it's just not my zone of genius. It's not where I've decided to put my energy, heart, soul, passion, focus into. Um, and I think there's just a lot of really amazing trainers that are quite frankly, a lot better than I am or that I would be now. Like, I, have I done it? Yes. Could I do it? Yes. But it's just not something that I have a lot of experience in, nor at this point in my life want to, because I just love what I'm doing and the kinds of transformations and shifts that the women that I am working with are receiving. And so the way that I do it allows people to experience like deep transformational shifts, um, on a subconscious level and in a way that's very sustainable. And so the reason that I do this uh, I mean, it kind of just organically evolved, but the reason that I do it this way is because my experience working with personal trainers and they're some of the like most amazing people. And like I said, they're very talented, but my experience for me personally, when I worked with a personal trainer in person was that there was just so much that was left unsaid, not anything against them, but because they're just literally not, was not enough time in the hour or hour and a half that we were training. Like it was just all about you know, of course, like rapport and conversation and getting to know each other, but it was all about like movement. And then anytime it, with any trainer I've worked with, anytime nutrition was brought up, it was just like a last minute type of conversation. And, um, I know like a lot of personal trainers are very educated in it. I just never got that like full package. Um, not just with nutrition, but in other things like depression or, um, just like added support in between sessions. And so what I do with clients is I start with just like an hour getting to know them, getting to know where their beliefs are. And my, my belief and my philosophy as a coach is I, I believe that the way that we are in relationship with a lot of things in our life, a lot of different aspects in our life has a lot to do with the way that we're in relationship with ourselves and the way that we're like, and it affects our metabolism and it affects like how we hold on to weight, 
Um, of course, there's like the, I'm very knowledgeable in the practical things. So one of my specialties is nutrition. Um, and before, like when I, the way that my coaching has evolved when I first started out, I feel like a lot of it, I wouldn't say it was like cooker, cookie cutter plans, but I just didn't know what I know now and hadn't, I hadn't gone through like the things that I needed to yet to be able to help people as in depth as I do today. And so now what I do, like what it would look like being a client of mine is I do design customized workouts. Um, and it's all based on hypertrophy, which is, um, hypertrophy, however you want to pronounce it, which is all based on building more muscle because muscle burns more calories and fat. And, um, yeah, like while leaning out, which is like, can be difficult to do on your own. And so I coach all of my clients through an app, which is amazing. And I, I meet people where they're at. So I take into consideration lifestyle. Like some of my clients go into like seasons of their life where they literally can't go to a gym. And so we adapt, um, you know, whether it's like home workouts or sometimes it's like I had a client coming off of an injury. So we just like eased her back into strength training through Pilates. And we did that for like two or three weeks. And so everything is very adaptable. And I really like, and that's why I like coaching people online because I have the ability to do that. And then also where I'm at now as a trainer is, um, I used to only know like calorie counting and now I'm very knowledgeable in like, uh, repairing metabolisms, um, making sure women are eating enough to be in a fat loss state, slowly increasing their calories if they're not eating enough of certain foods. Um, so that the scale starts moving in the direction that they want while also making sure they have energy throughout their workouts. Um, and then we like always, okay, let me like bounce back to, so, so I, I'm, I specialize in mac macronutrients, which is like a very calculated level two or level three type of eating where you like literally weigh all your food. But I also have invested in this platform that literally allows me to design macros based on the individual's needs. And everything goes into that, like, you know, their age, their height, their weight, their diet history, their lifestyle, how many times a day they want to be eating, um, how many minutes per meal they want to be prepping, the kinds of foods that they often have in their home and building plans around that. So it's not just something you get and never use. So that's one thing I do. Um, and then I also, some of my clients do intuitive eating. So I just build meal guide, meal guides for them and example recipes that they can start implementing. Um, and then what's really amazing about the app is that it connects to my fitness pal or your Fitbit or Apple watch. If you have one of those things, uh, I'm really big on overall movement throughout the day, which is called NEAT, which is non-exercise, uh, activity thermogenesis. And so the way that I repaired my metabolism and lost 40 pounds and I've been able to keep it off in the first time ever in my life in the last two and a half, three years now is through knee exercise. So I assign all my clients a step goal. And again, we start, I meet clients where they're at. So for some people that's like starting with getting them to 7,000 steps for some people, that's 10,000, some people that's 12, some people that's 15 K if they're like in a cut. Um, so yeah, that's what I focus on. And then the check-ins, the last thing that I wanted to say, well, let, let's circle back to the workouts. So the workouts, what's really cool about them is form is like a really big thing for people, especially in the beginning, if they're just learning how to weight lift or just like getting used to moving their body properly, um, recovering from injuries, wanting to strengthen those little muscles around the location of the injury. So what's really great about the workouts that I design is each, literally each move comes with a, a YouTube tutorial video, the lighting. Oh, that's so much better. Um, and so it's a short little clip that shows you exactly what your form should be doing. And you can like watch it as many times as you want until you know what to do. And when I work with my trainer, she used the same platform and I would literally be in the gym if I was doing gym workouts and I would just like stop and like watch the video real quick and then go do the workout. Um, so people really, really like that and they feel really supported with that option. And they're not confused when they go in there and you can like mark it off as you're going, like how many reps you did. Of course I tell you how many, but you get to like plug it all in and check it out off as you go. And so a lot of people like being able to do that. And then 
Um, there's a camaraderie aspect because all of my clients, it's kind of like a Facebook style. You can share things privately. So it just is shared to me like progress photos, but, uh, you can also share to the newsfeed within the app. So you can see all my other clients and like them crushing their workouts and them logging their food and everything. Um, and then what my check-ins look like. And one thread that I will say throughout my entire coaching is helping women unlearn diet culture and um, beauty standards because I feel like that's what's what that was what kept me from losing weight for so many years was just this diet culture mentality that's really unhealthy and can breed all kinds of things from like depression, anxiety, eating disorders, all these things I've experienced. And so what our check-ins look like and like everything that comes out of my mouth and I make sure it comes out of yours as well. And if it's not, I like gently like look into that with you and like give you a different way, a different way to look at it, a different perspective that's actually really empowering and makes you excited about what we're doing. Um, and excited about what, what progress you're making, even if you don't feel like you are making it. Cause a lot of people have a hard time seeing that if they're not seeing results on the scale. So I give a lot of different ways to measure progress. Um, okay. Lastly, real quick. So oftentimes what, what check-ins look like with me is I always start with what did you do for self-care this week? And if people say nothing, um, I usually tell them to call me back when they've done some self-care because really like everything stems from that. And I know that's such a buzzword these days, but it's really, really important um, because it, it just is. Um, I could make a whole nother video on that. But so we start with that. And then in my check-in form, I actually have you fill all this out before we get on the phone together or meet in person if you're local. And they can last anywhere from like 15 minutes to an hour. If you're local, I'll like go get coffee with my clients and we'll do our check-in. Um, we talk about what you're grateful for, what your challenges were and what you learned from those challenges and what you're going to use from that knowledge and that data you collected to, or going into the next week. And so that's really powerful, um, for people to be able to like type that out and see it for themselves. And then I help them point, point it out too, of course, um, if they're not seeing like what, what we learned together as a, as a team, as a unit, um, from what just happened in the previous week. And, um, again, yeah, check-ins just really go with like, you know, what do you want next week? Are you going to be out of town? Um, how are you feeling? I go a lot into like, I will prescribe, not prescribe. I'm not a freaking doctor, but I will assign people with different adaptogens, uh, different modalities for healing, whether it's their anxiety or depression or digestion, literally anything and everything under the sun, whether it's like, Hey, I want you to do this breath work exercise five minutes in the morning, I want you to practice, like I want you to do this quick meditation, or I want you to start taking spirulina and adding it to your oatmeal that we already have you eating because of X, Y, and Z, or we need to increase your macronutrients, like go down to your local health food store, pick these things up. You can buy them in bulk. It's really cheap. And we're going to just be like continuing to use those to really like heal and support again, the metabolism. Um, cause the body, my belief is the body knows what to do. The body knows how to heal. The body knows how to release weight. It just needs to be supported. And so my goal as a trainer is to just be a guide for you to do what your body already knows how to do and get you back to that level of homeostasis where you're at your ideal weight, your ideal relationship with money, your ideal relationship with your partner or your loved ones or your self care practice or, um, your body image or just like how, like your identity in general and like where you are putting your identity and what things like, are they things internal or like, have we got off track a little bit, which is part of the human experience, of course. And are we like putting it in things like whether we worked out or not, which is that can create a really unhealthy relationship with fitness and weight loss in general. And so, um, yeah, we do a lot of that kind of embodiment. I also am known to assign journal prompts to the clients that work with me and they have a lot of breakthroughs through that. Um, these are the same journal prompts. Like sometimes I make them up, but oftentimes they're those same ones that I asked myself. 
And so what I like so much about what I do is one of my biggest gifts and my like that I was put here to do is my my I really lead with my intuition. And so I can like hear in people's voice even if they're not talking to me like what's going on with them and where they're at and and a lot of times what they need to hear. And so I wouldn't say I'm like a tough love type of coach at all. I mean, sometimes I am, but more my style is like, let's get to the root of it and like, let's make it a beautiful process. Even if it feels a little uncomfortable, like I'm here to tell you you're, you're moving in the right direction and I love you where you're at until you learn to love yourself where you're at. So, um, a hundred, the last thing I'll lead you with, cause we're at 15 minutes is I have a hundred percent success rate. Every single person who's, who does my check-ins every week and lets me in on what's going on, like just keeps me in the loop. Um, and adheres to the program, even if that means like the last week was shit and we need to readjust everyone that at least pivots with me that quickly and fills me in what's going on. I have a hundred percent success rate of clients meeting their goals. Um, so that's really exciting and yeah, that's pretty much it. So it's a lot. Um, and that's why I do it online because it, I get to, I get to really be there for people like on a deep level and, um, yeah, I love it. So that's why I do online coaching and let me know if you're curious about wanting to sign up. All right. Have a beautiful night. Love you. Bye.